Happy Monday, hashtag my global family. <laughs> this is Drea Beta, coyote walking in this world, real life as subtle public superhero, proud two spirit indigenous warrior. Family, this coyote's been up to tricks, <laughs> but they've been good ones. We've been defending our community and making sure that our graduate students got one um, free breakfast during the conference, family, as well as providing for my indigenous guests in a celebration of life at the world's largest educational conference. This coyote's heart is filled with joy, family, but it also got hurt. <laughs> I was a little too good at advocating for my people and telling the truth family. They cited my PTSD and literally had the police escort me out of the conference um, a week from Friday. Yeah. So my little sore heart um, is still healing family, but you know this coyote, I still ran things from the sidelines. So I was so happy to see our celebration indigenous life and fashion show go, uh, go off without a hitch. Um, it was a great evening family. Thank you to Mr. Gary Farmer for being our keynote speaker. Um, thank you to my amazing sis, Kathleen Booth of Foxfire Designs for her amazing original designs family. She is a powerhouse of fashion. Watch out world. <sighs> but yeah, that was an act of violence family. When the man sends the police after you because you've been telling the brutal truth about how they're not funding graduate students and how they're creating hostile work environments. Whew, I know, Gammy, I know. <laughs> it was a little too much, family. But this coyote knew that we were on the right path because my ancestors sent me here on a mission. And now I have my dissertation project basically written for me, family. They will never forget this coyote, I'm telling you. So today, family, as I'm having a hard time starting off my Monday, I'm asking Gammy to send us guidance, to send us blessings, to find a brave heart family. Because sometimes we need to be brave and it might seem impossible. <laughs> so join this coyote in finding our courage and finding our love and in finding our bravery to continue to serve our communities. <laughs> yes, Gammy, we will continue to serve our communities. Family, today our special prayer is for a brave heart. So I want you to think, close your eyes real quick, close your eyes real quick, close your eyes real quick. And I want you to think about your heart. Think about your heart. How's your heart feeling? Let's do a heart check-in real quick, family. <sighs> is it full? Is it worried? Is it scared? What are you thinking about? What is in your heart right now? Who is in your heart right now? And I want you to let go of anything that is not serving you, family. Let go of any pain, any suffering, any ache, anything that is not serving you, family, that is weighing us down, that is hurting us. Let us let it go. Let us release it from our hearts and let us breathe in this sage, this cleansing sense that allows us to remember that we are of this earth, that we are grounded, and that when we walk through this world, our ancestors were here before us and send us their blessings. So family, I want you to let go of whatever's in your heart and does not serve us. And Gammy, I want you to help us remember how brave and strong we are. And to be reminded that love really is a way to center ourselves. Not only do we need it, but we also give it in return. And it is through that relationship that we feed our spiritual selves and that our soul and our heart become complete. Thank you, Gammy, for being the first example of a warrior woman. I love you, and I will stand by your example and have a courageous heart. When in the face of adversity, we will continue to protect and defend our families and our communities so our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren will continue to have opportunity just as you defended those opportunities for us. Thank you, Gammy, and may you rest in peace. And to my papa family. Now my papa was everything love and kindness. I love you, papa. I miss you and I know that we are going to do important things. I know that your love and your example of forgiveness will change the world. 
So allow us, Papa, to find those pockets of safety, those people who will nourish and feed ourselves, our spiritual selves and hearts, and whom we will give our love and trust and care freely as well. May we find those pockets of safety, create those communities of love as we change this world. Love you, Papa. <laughs> and to my great-great-grandpa family, Pablo Beta, true revolutionary and a set of public statesman. I love you, Papa. And although we wrangle against institutions that are greater than we are, we are reminded that human will, that our voice, that our advocacy, that our power to change this world, <sighs> that we still can shake heavens if our will says so. Dear family, in a dehumanizing world, join together with me as we uplift our brothers and sisters and we fight against the systems that threaten to tear us down. Because only together, only by lifting each other up, will we actually make the change we need in this world. Thank you, aunties, uncles, ancestors, yammies, papas, everyone who's gone before us. May we do honor to your name as we continue to walk your path. Family, today is a brand new opportunity. It's Monday, don't you forget. It's also May 2nd, which means we have a brand new month. Join this coyote. Yes, we acknowledge the past. Yes, we see our hurt, but we hope for the future with an open mind and an open heart. Never alone, family, always together with your global family. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm off to have trouble with some cardio, probably and some jiu-jitsu. I have so much work, family. So much work. I love you. Don't forget this coyote and your loved ones, your family and friends are always a text message, phone call or email away. Mm-hmm. <laughs>